All right, everyone, we are here. Final couple adjustments. Are we all going to stand? Yeah. Yep. Oh, I'm going to. You guys are going to do your thing. Well, you're going to come to okay. step. We're going to okay. start with you, brother. Hey, everyone, Mesh in here. Um, Jeremy, Jonathan, uh, we're going to be doing a live, first ever in recorded history that I'm aware of, a quantum healing session in a float pod. You can see the float pod behind us. And um, Jeremy's going to be doing some, we're going to demonstrate a healing session with you, kind of take you through that, kind of what that looks like, because it's easier to experience one C when I talk about it a lot. It gets hard to define, hard to describe. You're going to see one today. They all look different. Um, Jeremy's done this several times. They've been all over the place every time. So we don't know what to expect, but that's half the, half the fun. So your soul knows what you need more than what you can think you need, and that's half the fun of this. The second part of this is you'll be able to put questions into the comments on this live stream, and I'll be asking Jeremy's higher self, this higher guidance, answers to your questions. Uh, kind of keep the questions, um, not personal questions, keep them questions that other people can benefit from the answers from. And yeah, you'll get what you need out of this if you uh, keep those questions directed that way. This will also be shown on YouTube. This is also being live streamed on uh, Float Light's page. I encourage you to check out Float Light. It is amazing. So many benefits to floating. Uh, I know Jeremy wouldn't be where he is without it. I've had a lot of or several experiences here, and you know it's just been a very unique experience. And this is the best place to do it. Um, Jonathan, you want to talk a little bit about floating? Yeah. What all feels so, feels so like? for all the viewers out there, both on Float Light and your page, and, and everywhere in the world, welcome to Float Light. Even though you're afar, you're still here with us today. Um, the float tank. What is it? This is probably the most common question we get, and it's also one of the most difficult things to describe the experience of, but how I describe it working is a little bit simpler. So essentially what we're trying to do is eliminate as many of the senses as possible. Uh, and we do so by creating an environment that mimics as close to a neutral state that the human body can be in. And a lot of people call that the primordial state, or similar to like being in the womb of, you know, when, before being born. Um, we heat the air temperature of the water to the same temperature as your skin, and that's pretty accurate. So you don't feel anything out the water below you, nor the air above you. You can control the lights and the music, so turn off the lights. It will be pitch black dark in this case. It won't be, but that's okay. Um, it will also be dead silent. Again, this is an experimental session, so it won't be, but the benefit to this is, is that Jeremy will still experience the weightlessness and the absence of that gradient of temperature. So it's a complete and total meditation on exactly what Matt is talking about. And the way that a guest floats, or Jeremy will be floating today, is in 10 inches of water, we add about 1,650 pounds of dissolved Epsom salt. With that amount of salt in the water, you'll float on the surface, half underneath, half above, you'll, you'll not go under, you're not gonna flip, and you just float effortlessly. So you do not experience any feeling of gravity or pressure on the body, which is one of the un most unique attributes of the float tank. So I'm very happy that you're all here with us today. I'm happy that Matt and Jeremy are here with us today. I'm very excited about this. And I've been, you know, honestly, we've been talking about this for the last three years. I'm glad I finally came to fruition. So um, be sure, also any Float Light folks out there, go check out Matt Schmidt's page. It's actually in the description. Um, we'd love for you guys to go head over there and learn more about what Matt does because he does something truly unique in, uh, in Northeast Wisconsin here and it's something that you definitely want to check out. Especially if you feel like it, I, I think it's safe to say to anybody that's listening, they might be able to benefit from the experience themselves if they wanted to yeah. get some quantum healing going on. Remotely. There's there and there's no separation in time and space. I've had people write in after these group things, and I didn't think anything was happening. And people are like, "Oh my gosh, that was so powerful! I slept for like 12 hours after that." So it's it's bigger than I can even understand at this point. But it's also part of the run. So do you want to talk a little bit about some of the other services you offer? Here? Yeah. So Full Light is a truly unique place. Um, of course, a similar services you might obviously most people are familiar with massage therapy, but in addition to that. Uh, we try to focus on modalities that are truly unique. Like we offer ashiatsu, which is a barefoot standing massage. We do sound healing with uh, 20 therapeutic singing bowls. 
Uh, we also do shamanic healing. That's your shamanic healer right here. Um, we also do uh, cranial sacral work, but then we also offer a new service called Fire and Ice, which is completely unique to Wisconsin and actually the Midwest. And that's uh, 45 degree cold plunge, 205 degree sauna. So you go from one to the other and it is like awesome. I know it's, 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 a, it's a different kind of meditation to say the least, but it still is a meditation. So there, there, there's one for you. But most importantly, flow light <coughs> itself is the experience. Anything that you book here is gonna include what a lot of people talk about, you know, when they say this place is different. It's like going somewhere that's really not in Wisconsin, and really that's our whole ob objective is to teleport you to another universe. <laughs> so, <laughs> yeah. um, one thing that uh, I'd like you to bring up too is you're right on a train track. <laughs> Never heard anything in, the, in, the, in here. Yeah, um, so then, there's an engineering challenge that we're able to kind of overcome, uh, that we had to try to overcome with building this facility, but we are lucky that we're on, uh, that we're on about six feet of embedded concrete uh, so that kind of keeps the ground stable, but these rooms are completely soundproof. They're double insulated, uh, green glue drywall, double drywall. Uh, we use rockwell insulation. It's like a studio grade engineered soundproof environment. Uh, so when you're actually floating and that door is shut, this float tank, you don't hear anything. Uh, but if somebody's in here with you, you might hear a bit of an echo. So if on the stream you're hearing like a little bit of an echo, that's probably the reason these rooms are uh, completely tile, a waterproof environment as well. I got some questions rolling in about the EMFs, about how to protect you in EMFs, and I know that... Yeah, so EMFs right now, uh, it's kind of hard, uh, but so the uh, the two cabins are, are lined with a uh, sort of a, a Faraday cage, uh, so we don't have EMF radiation going into the cabins. The ponds themselves, uh, for the very, very, very small low voltage, that's actually getting that light down there, but when the light is off, there's no voltage coming to it. So. Um, you are actually protected from all EMF fields while you're in this space. Um, in fact, it's even hard to get a cell phone signal, to be honest with you. Um, it's not the best, the most conducive environment for uh, Wi-Fi or cell phones. So, um, so yeah, I mean, this is a great place to kind of get away from that. Of course, we don't really promote the suites as, uh, as Faraday cage type EMF reduction, uh, just because, you know, to each individual that means something different. Um, but uh, but we did take steps to in, to ensure that that was, that was covered. So. That's awesome. Yeah, you don't even know how all this stuff affects you. And all there's nothing, and you can hear your eyelids blink, and oh, yeah, it's, it's pretty it's so quite the experience. Flow well, light's unique in that we engineer all the solutions in house. So a lot of what we do here ends up translating to the rest of the entire world, the industry. Uh, so we really kind of look at ourselves as an experimental facility for the greater more ideal setting of a sensory deprivation tank and alternative services that go along with that we start to kind of spread out bring it to the masses beautiful segue <laughs> <laughs> it's awesome jeremy you want to talk a little bit about what you're doing about that connection to you know this higher guidance and like uh, first of all jeremy's not special i mean he is <laughs> but in, in the nicest way everyone has this ability and that's part of the beauty of doing this so what you're seeing is Jeremy's experience through this higher connection, but everyone is capable of this. Everyone has that to tap into. And when you start to listen to that a little bit more, that's where the magic lies. Hundred percent. So guys, like, and, and and the second you said that, so one thing I do is like know that you're a master creator, that you're creating with the universe. Floating has been super beneficial for me to hear, see higher perspectives, higher understanding, move energy, move density for myself work with my own spiritual team or that higher power bigger than myself, whether or not dear God, your God, your angel, God's goddesses, death realm, angelic beings, spirits, it doesn't matter, right? God, it could be anything. Um, and so like when we're talking about EMFs and stuff, we're doing some sigil work to, to, to kind of keep those or 5G or anything away from that would be interfering for this ceremony. This ceremony, we, I call, always call this a ceremony. We have been doing Reiki energy work, and so this will be infused with Reiki as well um, for those willing to receive that. Just, just get permission for our guides and your guides to work together as one. Um, I often come into a flow situation. I always set my intention. It's such a beautiful thing for it to bring me the healing, the clarity, wisdom, understanding, guidance, or protection, however that looks for me, what I'm going through at that time. Like Jonathan was saying, this, this, this environment is literally set up 
to let the egoic mind fall away, to go from that if you come in here with a hyper beta wavelength or vibe beta wave and you're in like kind of survival mode in that reptilian mind of you, um, to, to, to slow it down, breathe, do your breath work, release, I set my intentions. Um, I, I talk to the water spirit of the elements um, to ask it to help me to raise my vibration, let go of dense energy. Um, and when I surrender, some of the things I do to do that is say I can use affirmations like I'm not my mind, I'm not my body, surrender, release, breathe release and and it's so beautiful uh joe rogan has talked about this so many times the environment is literally conducive to literally to letting go of the identity and then and and so it's not for me it's not a math it's not the thought is not something i'm trying to stop the force or the resistant thought is what i'm what i'm letting go of and it just allows spirit to show me in metaphysical visions i can be in total darkness guys still get beautiful vision see colors see all sorts of things um, when I surrender, eyes open, eyes closed, doesn't matter. I've seen incredible things in, in a float tank. I've also like moved a lot of energy. Um, and because I'm setting my intention to be guided or protected or work with, I'm allowing my higher self or the oversoul or my spirit guides to literally direct me. Guys, I've had some amazing experiences in these float tanks. Literally felt like I was being turned on my side, stopped, you know, like literally vibrating in the tanks at times. Um, and it's it's very high content salt, all right? So you really wouldn't want that in your eyes. And yet, yet, I've never had that experience where I've been injured or hurt. Like, I'm literally setting my intention. I'm speaking with, we always want you to do something that makes you feel safe. Some sisters and brothers we take to the float center, especially people in recovery, they come in and they sleep. They say, I say, did you see anything? Did you have any vision? They said, no, I slept. It was beautiful. I'm like, that's wonderful. That's exactly what your body needed. The magnesium and, and how it removes toxins, it just, it's just, I feel so good, so much lighter um, after the, you know, so so as far as the chemistry is concerned, um, John could speak to that too, but um, it's just, it really, I have, I'm a man who was born with cerebral palsy, so my gait is very different, and I, I, I would have a lot of muscle issues or things like that, but like through meditation, through grounding, through breath work, and especially floating, Relieves those physical symptoms so so much, dear ones. I can't tell you about the the holistic or, or medical benefits of floating. I, yeah, and for anybody that's out there that, that is curious about the um, the sanitation of the environment, we use uh, we use uh, commercially graded uh, pool spot pumps, which is way much overkill for a tank like this. But they pass a one micron filter. They go through an AOP uh, process, which is an advanced oxidation process, which passes ozone and UV light. It creates one of the most powerful oxidizers in the world. And uh, we also use H2O2 as a disinfectant. But the truth in the matter is, is the statistics are coming back. The water that's contained in here with the high concentration of salt, nothing can live in that. And we test the water every month through Badger Laboratories, comes back completely clean every time, month over month. Uh, so these tanks are clean, obviously. Uh, we wouldn't let anyone float in them, but uh, just to kind of ease your minds and for anyone that has that chemical the chemistry background, uh, can hopefully follow along with what I'm saying. But uh, yeah, we have a lot of experience in water treatment, so. Awesome. It's beautiful. The last thing I'll say is like, for me, one other thing that I've done whenever I float, um, and, and, and then it, there's different, types of floats. So you can do a pod or you can do a cabin. Cabins are a bit different, but I still work with it because the human mind will say that 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 because it has to be here. No, the universe is bigger than that. It's intention, it's energy. Um, it's a placement without being physical. So like to, on this for this particular session, I have just two small little angelic angel amulets that I work so I can work with the angelic realm today that I placed on either side of the tank and just ask for assistance. If I were in a float cabin, I could literally simply set, I could set them as simply as on the table and literally move them to where I need to put them. Or if I work with crystals, some crystals, you know, obviously you don't want to get wet, you know, but, but I can bring crystals with me healing and bring them in there. I sometimes come in a bag and I'll just set them on the table and you can put them literally through, through mentalism. Um, to where, where I wish to place my crystals, like, and this is this is no joke. And you be your own case study, dear ones, because when you start to do this and you see how you feel, whether or not you can feel the vibrations of the crystals or how that makes you feel um, when you do flow up, these are all beautiful suggestions. I'm serious, guys. It works. It's amazing. It's beautiful. So that's just another suggestion. One last thing for me. Uh, also, for those who are a little bit scared to do this, uh, both of the cabins, 
the uh, devices that Jeremy was mentioning. You can actually do that as a partner flow, so you can bring a friend or a loved one. Uh, it can help kind of ease, make it a little bit more accessible for you, so uh, that is an option as well. Awesome. That's beautiful. All right, uh, All right. We're, we're gonna get into it. Um, I'll talk about just briefly about quantum healing. Um, my sessions are a lot longer than what you're experiencing today. This is an abbreviated one, um, just to kind of demonstrate for you this process. Uh, and the way you get the most out of this as a viewer, open yourself up to receiving whatever. Allow yourself to surrender to whatever comes to you through this process and you'll get what you need out of it. The other thing is, ask any questions you have. Like I said, keep those questions uh, kind of for the collective. Uh, things that would benefit other people from hearing, i.e. no personal questions. And if you're watching this on the replay, you can still get the benefits of it. Like we said, it's the intention. There's no separation of time and space. And well, enjoy. We're going to get right into it. I would, I would love to add to that. That So having done several sessions with Matt, um, in, in, these, in these sessions, even, even when Matt does groups, which is beautiful. If you guys have a chance to do a, a group workshop with Matt, I highly recommend it, whether or not that's past life or body healing, um, are super beneficial. And through the guided meditation or really going a deep meditative state, um, time and space literally fall away. The egoic mind literally sets, sets inside of us self. You're connected to the oversoul, higher self. I've had ceremonies and sessions where we these sessions, right? And, yeah. and uh, because that word ceremony kind of trips people out, it's not, but it, it's a it's a spirit, it's a beautiful spiritual experience, um, and and I and so many times you've said like, well, how long do you think you were you know, under or, or doing what you're doing? And I said, I don't know, forty five minutes, try four hours. Uh, <laughs> how about the next session? Uh, how about an hour? An hour, hour maybe? We hit an hour is like twenty five hours. So, and it's it's just amazing. It's it's absolutely amazing. Even in the last group session that we did um, it was was wonderful. Me and two other guys were talking about it afterwards, and I said, oh, "Dude, it felt like a half an hour." Yeah, yeah it was like hour and forty five minutes. It's just amazing, guys. It's so good. All right, um, I do have a couple groups coming up. Check my website www.matchmitqh.com, and uh, you can check out those on the groups and events pages. All right, we're gonna get into it. I'm gonna just move some stuff and. There's no bathing suit shaming, <laughs> or you're welcome to. <laughs> yeah. Go ahead. No, you're good, Jeremy. You got some cool tattoos, man. It's, it's your energy return. Oh. <laughs> All right, we will see how this picks up. I'm going to immerse myself, dear ones. Someone says, hi, glad you're not naked. <laughs> oh. That's all right. Don't take it personally. One, one says glad, the other says sad. <laughs> all right. So you get some spiritual experience. All right. You want to put your head in the Yeah. Sure. Sure. Um, right. So, dear ones, we have showered off before this. We did this prior to this, um, where I rinsed off, shower, take the oils off the body, and so on and so forth. It just it, that helps with this environment of this beautiful water spirit. We're saying thank you to the elements. We're gonna. Oh yeah, this is years in the making. Well, there we go. I will try. We're gonna ask. Uh, oh yeah. Okay. I hope that tape comes off. Yeah, I like I first can show you that. that's fantastic. It's one way to go. No, no. As you can see, I'm taping this extra microphone. You're taping it to my forehead, dude. Oh, no. Switch over the audio then so you guys can hear me. Are you sure you want to hear it, brother, or you want to move it down more closely? Actually, do we even need the microphone? I mean, can, someone, can, can, someone, can someone comment out there if you can hear Jeremy? Okay, Jeremy, wants to see Can you guys hear me? Check one, two, commander, commander. Alright. Houston. We might not even just cool need that. Why don't we just take it right here? Um, loud and clear. Alright, we're going to stick right here. We don't need it. Oh, you don't need it. Okay, fantastic. Oh, there goes your nipples. Oh, oh, yeah. Those are full of hair now. Uh, All right. All right. Guys, I don't know if you guys can see, I'm totally floating. I have a very skinny rear end, and my rear end is not touching the bottom. As you can see, Jeremy is fully suspended. I'm going to use this as known as a halo, and this helps us to support our head. Otherwise, your ears go under a little bit, and that's okay. Jeremy's kind of a pro at this. He's done this lots of times. All right. 
Um, we're going to get into it. Like I said, I'm going to guide you through, uh, you guys through a healing with Jeremy. He has a few personal questions. I'll share with those or share with you what those are. Um, you want to adjust his smoking. You want to quit smoking. Uh, an issue with his skin. Also, any blocks or any guidance for um, his writing as well as relationships. So the first part of this will be doing a mini healing, uh, to, just to show you how this process works and how easy this can be, and that it's not scary. Um, this isn't mind control, this isn't anesthesia, this isn't amnesia. Jeremy's aware that I'm talking to him. Um, I can't make him do anything he doesn't want to do. Uh, it'd be cool if I could make my job easier, but it doesn't work that way. <laughs> is Jonathan available right now? Um, he's, he's up, so. Could, is, it, is it possible to get another angle just to hold my head up so I can hear the question? Um, sure. I hate, I hate to say that, but it may be a, a bit of a challenge. Guys, this is the first time this has ever been done, so we're just, uh, we're looking at that. Which is totally okay. There is the hum of the tank itself, and um, so that might be a bit challenging to hear the questions coming in. And we wish to assist, so. To the right height. Okay. Maybe we should think. Do we have a couple of extra? I'll try that first. Okay, yeah, there you go. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, that's a step right there. Oh, there you go. That's beautiful. Okay. All right. All right, we're going to just start. Um, like I said, if you have questions, put them in the comments and we'll kind of go through them. I have some from that people have posted from Insta, from my DMs, from TikTok, from other sources. And then we'll answer your questions directly. All right, so I'm going to take a moment just to reconnect with my higher self, my guide, my team. Jeremy, you can connect with who you need to connect with. Jonathan is out there right now. Can you hear this? He can bring me one more or two more halos and be out. Got a minute right there. Yeah, I just, uh, yeah. thank you. Uh, 
I'm uh, just relaxing. I'm <laughs> <coughs> All right, Jeremy, I'm just going to invite you to take a couple big, slow, deep belly breaths now. As you exhale, allow that breath to flow from your head all the way down to the tips of your toes. <coughs> Relax the entire body. Just sit with that feeling for maybe about 30 seconds, maybe a minute. And then in your own time, in your own way, just kind of mentally scan your body and just see where you notice where that energy is stored, any areas that feel impacted or affected by this. Your subconscious mind knows the finer details of how this all weaves together. <coughs> Were you noticing this within your body? how easy this is. I was just saying thank you for those, for those experiences, for those bees. Nisha, 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 Nisha. Right, can you put out the thought, the intention? 
to ask other beings of light to assist in releasing this energy, these other beings and guiding them to where they need, transmuting that energy back into time, back into space. And just describe what's happened, what happens next. The coughing too is also a release of this energy. Coughing, yawning, sneezing, puking, all different ways to release this energy. Crying, heat can also feel hotter, colder, lightier, heavier, lighter, lighter, heavier. You can feel like you're spinning, shaking, vibrating. You can be shaking. That's that energy moving that is that energy being released. There's nothing harmful about that. It's got to come out somewhere. It's not surprising that he's feeling this in his lungs and it was being released in that way before we even started. Good question. The question was about uh, why you were coughing in the beginning, Jeremy. Good. And can you explain what's happening as these energy blocks are being released, as energy is being transmuted? I want you to feel in some of the into the, some of these blocks and go deeper. Take a nice big slow deep breath. Almost like you're downloading more information about these blocks. As you exhale, you'll have more clarity. Just tell me what comes to mind first, Jerry. I was choosing to release it through time and space. All right, go ahead. There's, there's a spirit. There, there's a spirit. And my Nanyanta. What are you noticing within your physical body as this process is occurring? <laughs> that I have a little salt water around my nose, but that's okay. That's beautiful. And it's draining. And it's like, like my whole body is dying. I don't 
don't feel the pain. Mm. Is that uncomfortable or no. weird? Ooh, Feel it to be on the sixteen degrees. You want me to understand creation. So so that the cre so that creation doesn't cause fear. How does that tie into Jeremy's addiction? Just in everything. Everything. Smoking, fear, work, will be. How? It's to move forward without fear. We were. Yeah, I am. Ooh. I'm going to release and get it back. Get it back. Get it back. Get it back. What do they want you to know about this fear? So that it doesn't attach again? So you don't connect? All fear. All fear. Mm -hmm. All great. 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 Great.
I want you to take another nice big deep breath. And now that Jeremy can see that the spear doesn't serve a purpose, it's just an illusion, he's ready for this change. What is he experiencing as this is being released from his body, from his energy, from his soul, from his spirit? Sensation in my back. Mm -hmm. Setting an intention for this because we do have other services here to 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 allow this energy to move through and do what it needs to do and not help into the to the constraints of time. So okay. Uh, all right. I want you to open up to mind-to-mind -mind communication with some of those beings that were assisting you in this process. What's the best way for Jeremy to actively quit smoking? What can he do now that this will be easier than ever for him to quit? Should he slowly cut back? Should he just quit? What's the best way for Jeremy? We want him to be successful. He just needs to go outside. He needs to free. Just to breathe outside with an urge. And release it, the urge. Mm. Back, 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 back to the back, back to the page. Just breathe. Home side. Mm -hmm. The ground. And breathe. And visualize the clouds. Visualize the clouds. Visualize the clouds? Yes. Got it. That help to release that urge? Yes. Will this work for other people that are trying to quit smoking? To be able to nature, connect that way? Yes, but they must. They must be. Their ego must make, make peace. Give thanks. They experience the shake, 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 shake hands. 
So Jeremy will have urges, it won't be as pronounced. Is it best for him to just stop completely yeah, or why not? Never have to smoke again. Never has to smoke again. Anyone. 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 What will he notice? No longer smoking. What will he notice with his energy? Or just anything in general. Physically, spiritually. What will Jeremy notice once he stops smoking? What will change in his life? Emotionally, energetically? Everything. <laughs> God, it served a purpose. He just doesn't need this anymore. Jeremy, I want you to take a nice, slow breath and just allow your mind and body to just drift and float into the future and connect with the Jeremy that doesn't smoke. And I want you to breathe yourself into that body. Say the desert moves and no one speaks. But I want you to breathe in deeply that feeling. Breathe in that awareness of Jeremy. Merge that version of you with your current version. Allowing those old patterns to dissolve, disintegrate. Wash away with the water. Back into time, back into space. Breathing in your strength that confidence, that future ahead, that energy, that clarity. Success. 
Uh, take a nice, big, slow, deep breath. Breathe in that fear, that awareness. And just allow your mind and body to drip and flow. And connect back to where this fear began. And just share with me what's happening in that moment. I want you to see, I love how old are you in that scene? That child with cerebral palsy. It yes, goes back, way back. Mm -hmm. This goes back before it went on. This goes back to, this goes back to being in the All right, go back, take a nice, big, deep breath. And, uh, the time when you're directly connected to your mother. Back to where this began and just share with me. And want to be here. Do you want to be here? Jeremy sold it. His mom didn't. Take it, I didn't. Mm -hmm. Fucking hard. Say fucking hard. How does your mom feel about this pregnancy? She is afraid. Why was she afraid? What decisions is this feeding a fetus making about itself, about life, about relationships, about love, and about any other? I felt that fear. I felt that fear. This is your first impression of this world. What are you what are you telling yourself in this moment? What decisions are you making about sky, God? Sky people. <laughs> sky people. you to take a nice big deep breath and I want you to shift out of that body for a moment. I want you to see your mom pregnant with you, carrying that fetus. And I want you to imagine a golden white healing light projecting from your chest to both of them, wrapping them, comforting them, consoling them, softening that energy, soothing that fear. Letting them both know that you are that you are that baby from the future. Jeremy's all grown up now. He does survive. He does move on. He doesn't have to carry that fear anymore. And freeing your mom of that fear. Sending that wisdom in that life. 
Letting her know that you turn her on. Good. Alright. Alright, I want you to hold that fetus close to you, close to your heart. I want you to allow it to feel love. Allow it to feel your light. Does this kid know how special he is? I want you to communicate in your mind with this fetus, with baby Jeremy, and I want you to, what guidance do you have for Jeremy? It's a tough road. Be all. Be all. Be all. Be. What do you notice about this energy as he's getting and feeling this love? close and I want you to breathe back in that spiritual essence, that excitement, that joy for life, that intelligence, that creativity, that innocence and that future ahead allowing that fear that's not even Jeremy's. Anything that he's taken on, just dissolve back into time, back into space. I want you to breathe in anywhere that absence has been felt, any part of Jeremy that doesn't feel loved. Just allowing this energy, anything that doesn't serve Jeremy, including the physical condition with his skin, to dissolve, disintegrate, back into time, back into space. And just share with me what you notice. I am a part of the essence of the waves. Gently go into the next part as Jeremy continues this healing. For you viewers out there, you can all participate in this. Set your intention for what you want, that you're ready to release anything that doesn't serve you. This is a healing for not only Jeremy, but the collective. Just 
There's nothing you need to do at this point. Just allow yourself to be open and receptive to receiving this. You are worthy to receive everything today. You do deserve this. Jeremy, just allowing yourself to just drift and float to a beautiful healing place, a place where you can go for healing. <laughs> Bringing in these angels, other beings of light, ancestors, guides, colors, light to assist in this healing process. Uh, asking now, if you want, you can get into a meditative state. Just close your eyes, take a couple big deep breaths, and go to your special healing place. Uh, and then asking those beings of light to first do a body scan, scanning your body from your head all the way down to the tips of your toes. Looking for anything that could use healing at this time, please allow them to heal it as you go. And for the sake of this, we can condense this multitask, asking for a mental scan, scanning the mental body, restructuring, reorganizing, rewiring, reframing anything that's needed for the highest good, especially to assist in everything that we're doing today. Also doing an energy scan, scanning the energetic body, looking for any stuck energy, releasing it, anything that is out of balance or alignment, restoring it to perfect balance and harmony. Clearing out the energy fields and energy centers as we go, and strengthening and expanding your energy field, your aura, to lock in all the work that we're doing today. Also releasing any toxins, metals, bacteria, viruses, parasites, anything in the body that doesn't serve your highest good. And restoring the organs of mind and all the cells in the body to functioning at their optimal levels. including an additional clearing around the heart, the stomach, digestive area, the head, the throat, and any decalcification of the pineal gland. And you viewers out there, just allow yourself to receive and be open to this. This will even continue through the next three days in the way that it's meant to. Further unlocking and activating any ancient dormant DNA, activating the DNA and the healing properties to the next highest levels to facilitate the healing that's occurring today. Like I said, unlocking, unblocking, any ancient dormant DNA, activating any ancient dormant DNA, and any hybrid DNA that's for the highest good. Additionally, releasing any past, current, and future life trauma that no longer supports the highest good. Doing this across all timelines, lifetimes, dimensions, and generations. And merging the aspects of those lives that would benefit you in this lifetime now. The lessons, the skills, the knowledge, the strength, the confidence, whatever it is.
Additionally, releasing any old beliefs, emotions, memories, patterns, old programming, expectations, perceptions, spells and curses, whether they're yours or someone else's, that no longer support your highest goodness, your highest good. Once again, across all timelines, lifetimes, dimensions, and generations, as well as eliminating all binding contracts, vows, agreements, bonds, pacts, commitments, promises, and accords that you've made in this life or any other <coughs> that no longer serve you. You can imagine burning these in a fire if you want, allowing them to wash away with the water wherever you are, use the elements to assist you, and those other beings of light, you don't have to do this all alone. We forget that we can just ask for help a lot of the times. And then releasing any entities, any energetic attachments to people, places, things that no longer support the highest purpose. Putting attachments to yourself. And filling in any empty spaces, any voids with that divine source presence within you and unconditional love. If you want, you can imagine breathing this light into all the cells of the body, expanding this out. Any areas that haven't felt this love, or this divine light, allowing them to feel that now. Raising your vibration, your frequency of what your body will allow, and giving you enough energy to carry out your purpose here. As we're doing this further, unlocking, unblocking, Strengthening any gifts or abilities you are currently ready to receive or remember. As the mind, body, and spirit are in a perfect space to do this now. As well as receiving any upgrades, downloads, activations, frequencies, light codes that you're currently ready to receive. Like we said, you're in a perfect space for this now. This will continue over the next three days. Send that love, that gratitude for all the help and guidance you've been given and will continue to be given. Uh, if you're watching this at home or on the replay, if you're watching this live or on the replay, I'm going to invite you to gently come back. If you want, you can share in the comments what you experienced during that portion. And we're going to open it up to questions through Jeremy's higher self, this higher aspect of him. So if you want, you can put your questions in. We have a lot rolling in already, so keep them coming. Um, I'm just asking if I can speak to Jeremy's higher self, please. Yes, thank you. I know the higher self could have brought forth many different experiences for Jeremy to see today. We first went back to clearing all these energy blocks, all this, the, all these things that were tied to addiction, fear, just a whole type, a bunch of different things. Why was it important for Jeremy to address these in order to be successful at quitting smoking? <laughs> the love, the love, the love. How did these things make it difficult for him to quit in the past? Part of part of part of the plan, part of the plan, part of the purpose, part of the plan, part of the purpose. Any advice for our viewers out there that are oh, trying yeah. to <laughs> we were just gonna say this, no one should be beating themselves up. Don't be so hard on yourself. Nobody should be beating themselves up out there. It's part of the plan. 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 We get cry the sense of a thousand souls for you guys. It's part of the plan. It's okay. Everybody's okay. Everybody's okay. No shame in any of this. It doesn't matter if you're addicted to heroin and Everybody's watching this. It's okay. It's all part of the journey. And it's okay. It's all perfect. 
I like that other piece where you said no judgment. Why is that such a key piece, you know, as we go through these different phases of our journey? It's such a beautiful teacher. It's such a beautiful teacher. We 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 grade, grade, grade all for judgments. We grade all for judgments. We grade all for judgments. We grade all for the plan, the plan, the plan, the plan. Move, move through, move through, move through. Dana, Shina, Kai, Koya, Koshi, Kai. You see me so much, you see. the free control, powers, light, light, make easier to move through. Those to the chat who experience more judgment will experience more fire, and this is not religious foolishness. This is energy. Decree, decree, decree. Chana, chana, chana. Love or suffer. Love, which leads to love. All right, Jerry, our next question comes from Nancy. What techniques can you offer us all to connect daily with our higher selves and discern what's actually our higher selves versus our ego or conscious mind interference? So they show us, they show us hand, our heart, place hand at base of skull, on neck. And add to nausea and add and add from full, 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 take to, to have by earth, not cheap. So, so hard, food, true, food, back of space, so, food, true, 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 head, food, that, that, and earth, food, 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 food. How will that help people discern what's what? Uh, it's Jiyat. It's Jiyat. They're saying it in another language. It's Jiyat. Please translate for me. Yeah, it's geometry. It's geometry. It's a geometry. It is an energetic uh, connection. It is, they show us, they line energy stream, they show us in order for this connection. Easy, easy, they say. Easy. Hard. Easy. Easy for everyone, they say. Easy. Some people have a hard time with this. I know this took a while, but... They, they enjoy the experience. <laughs> yeah. I know for me it's a feeling or when things just pop in out of the blue that I wasn't... They, they know, yeah, they say stop comparing yourself. We are, don't stop comparing yourself, guys. Stop comparing yourself. Like, we're all beautiful. Source creation. Stop comparing yourself. It's okay. Tap that blueprint. You know, you know, you know the way. You know the way. For you, for your plan. Tap, tap, tap. Outcome can then then outcome can change. So they're saying so. So right on that they're saying so many life plans that are established, pre-established. This life cycle 
no more than I know for a king shift. Like, so like a uh, completely shift, like a roughly shift, like more than ever before, than ever before, than ever before, than ever before. Than ever before. Okay. Well, what are some things to eliminate that conscious mind interference or reduce it? Stars. They show us stars. They show us stars. They, so they're like making a suggestion for you to look at the stars more often. More often. Look at the moon more often. Look, look, look up. up in nature more often to 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 remove blocks in 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 retreat light spirit, light spiritual assist assistance look at stars look at moon to shape move it even clouds at night at night at night at night to food 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 Jeremy, the next question is about you. Okay. Um, why is he coughing like that? This is a good point, you know, because there's all different ways to move energy. Can you explain? Yeah, this? I certainly can. So my body's kind of a, a telephone, if you will, and so so we we move energy, and I I don't do it. I I just move myself, and I just allow the body to do what the body's going to do. Um, and, 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 and in a way, and, and uh, channel, 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 mm -hmm. um, and, and safe, safe, okay, very, very, very okay. There, are, there, there, there is also known as kriyas, which are, are like uh, jerking of physical, uh, when, when energy moves or aligns. Great, great question, Haksu. All right, the next question is from Whitney. So the blending of modalities is unprecedented. Congratulations. Will this merging of healing be something that can be utilized more? And would it catapult the rate, the depth, and ways in which healing occurs? Ooh, set, and I have been from, 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 for, for, for quantum healing. Uh, understanding how to connect to higher self and and have have been have been doing this long time in in floating in floating uh in floating the 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 and the energy is conducive for healing. So you've done this lots of times. What's the difference between your experience today? Being in the pod, you know, combining these. <laughs> today, 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 today. Like I tell spirit, let me talk. But they, okay, so today, today is bigger than than than, than any of this. Than, than any of this. This is energy healing for for so many. This is bigger, bigger. Years they say. Many of you guys may start purging. <laughs> That's actually the next thing on the list. <laughs> yeah. Other people that are part of this, I'll, I'll put it 
up. So thank you, Yvette, for sharing this about the collective feeling. Beautiful. I shed so many tears and released anger and fear of success and moving ahead. Oh, that's a big one. That is huge. So most of these things, you know, that hold us back, they're all stuff within us. It's not these things outside of us. That those things outside of us are kind of a reflection of what's going on, on the inside. And when you make these changes on this level, whew, leaps and bounds, game changer. Thank you, Yvette, for sharing that. Jeremy, do you have another question from Veronica? Do you see colors while you're doing this? Why don't we elaborate that? What do you experience while you're doing this? Uh, uh, yeah, yeah. And so this is a great question. This is a great question. This is more. So if we see, see, see colors, yes, answer yes. But when we see colors, uh, do you, do you, do you, Pixelation, colors, energy, move coming from the, the different dimensions, different dimensions, energy, 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 energy. Yes, 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 yes. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Attunement. All right, some great other questions. Keep those questions flying in. Remember, you can ask anything, anything you want about anything. Try to keep them limited to questions about the collective. I'm going to jump over um, to a couple questions that we had from Insta, Instagram, as well as some posted earlier on Facebook for people watching this on the replay. Go ahead. Okay. Um, all right, from Gundamo. Uh, what can we do to shield or limit the impact of electromagnetic frequencies? So, you know, if you have to work with some of these things, so what are the best way to, to do that? So, 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 clash, fight, 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 opinions, opinions, opinions. Opinions, reality, reality, damnation. Others 
read others, read at others, reality, others, basic energy, existence. <laughs> It gets it. Was that a knock? Hey, um, can I get you this in the mouth? Okay, okay. Yeah, yeah. Thank you. All right, so we'll go through some questions. A um, few other questions. We're going to combine these questions. We have about 20 minutes left, so we are going to. If that, I think they got. Is she saying they have 20? She said we have 20 in John told me too, so okay. I don't know. Because we have to dance it. Yep. All right, next question. So let's keep these short. What's the main theme for this next year? Um, the other question kind of tied into this. What should we be expecting this year? Surrender. 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 To the To the To the <laughs> Nurture. 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 Support, nurture, support. This year, this, uh, so this year, change, big, big, big change. Uh, is there something that we can do to, how can we best do this other than like a mantra or mudra or anything like that? It's always love, it's always love, it's always love. It's compassion. It's soil. <laughs> it's earth. It's love. It's earth. It's love. There was a, a question about is there going to be like a global shutdown or a reset? Keep in mind with these future questions, these are potential timelines. Don't get too wrapped up into these, but. That, that, that part, that, that is entirely the kind of about. So. Love, 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 love yourself, love yourself. No, nothing, nothing, nothing to fear. Love yourself, love yourself, love yourself. Can I go on to talk about Why do triplets and twins come in together? <laughs> to expand upon the consciousness, clearly. Clearly, clearly, how just evolution is it? Clearly, 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 This is a really good one. I think everyone can benefit from this one. How can we know when we're on the right path and really evolving? We kind of talked about this, alluded to this earlier. If you smile, Love nature more, you are on the right path. If you start to resonate with nature more, you are on the right path. Alright, we'll do we'll do two more questions and then we have to wrap it up. Um why do star seeds come to earth? What's their purpose? From Carissa. Thank you, Carissa. Many, many, many are here. Some, 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 many, many are here. And some, 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 to, to balance, for balance, for balance, for balance, for balance. That, 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 that for balance, to, for their, their energy to serve. To serve. Oh, I love that. All right, last one we'll do. How can we best serve the collective as healers? I keep hearing get out of there and spread take, love. Is there a specific way? Take care of yourself. <laughs> yes. Take care of yourself. Take care of yourself. Kind of take, gently take your time coming back. Thank, sending that love, that gratitude out for all the help and information you've been given, and just breathe in this connection, strengthening this connection. 
Allow this connection to integrate and merge. Sending out that love, that gratitude. Just kind of gently coming back in your own time, in your own way. I want to thank everyone for who joined us in this unprecedented experience, never done before. Um, thanks for kind of bearing with us with some of the technical issues and just being along for the ride. Uh, it's fascinating. I think we're just scratching the surface, but that's half of the fun. Remember to love yourself. All those like little key things, it all goes back to you, really. We're looking for all this stuff outside of us, but all, all these answers went back to you and those things going on within you. So thank you so much for joining us. Jeremy, do you want to just comment a little bit about how this was different from any other quantum healing session you had? Again, it's like so I, really quickly I'll just say sometimes you're there, you're sometimes you're not. Um, it's and it's just beautiful. I don't know, I don't know what typically after quantum healing, I'm just kind of like I'm observing, so right now I'm just going to say thank you to, to some archangels and spiritual guides that have assisted us for this. I want to thank Matt, I want to definitely thank Jonathan Rowe for allowing us to do this beautiful thing today. Um, I, and everybody that, that logged in, everybody that shares this video to gain some, because that will help everybody, whether or not that's the benefits of floating, the benefits of, of channeling, the benefits of quantum healing. So we really appreciate everybody sharing this out to as many collectives or groups or friends um, as possible. Um, just to kind of make more pathways for others for their healing um, and, and, and to, to feel better out there. Love everybody you can, especially yourselves, dear ones. Thank you, Spirit. Thank you to, to the higher realms for assisting us today. Thank you everyone so much. We wouldn't be here if it wasn't for you. And yeah, please share this out and do follow your heart. Trust our trusting your intuition and just leading from there. And step into this magical world. It really is magic when you realize it's all around you. Thank you so much. And we will see you on the next video. All right, bye guys.